pause to welcome. I am Lisa and this is my channel Cross by Floss where I talk about cross stitching and life blessings. So if you are new to my Floss Tube channel, I'm so happy you're here and I hope you find something that you like and that you consider subscribing and, um, and commenting, love comments. And if you are a returning viewer, you know how much I appreciate you and, um, and love that we get to hang out a little bit uh, during our day. So um, today I thought I would do a whip parade and I have just so enjoyed all the whip parades that have been happening in the floss tube community. I mean, honestly, if you need enabling, watch a whip parade video. Like that's enabling 101 right there. So uh, yeah, there's so many great whip parades that are happening right now. Um, so I thought, hey, I don't know that I did one last year. I'm, I'm fairly certain I didn't. And I don't think I've ever pulled out all of my whips to see what I've done or how far along I've gotten or anything like that. So it was a bit of an eye opener to me today. They are all sitting on the couch next to me because they like took up the whole floor. Now, I think I only have like just 50 or maybe a little more than 50 whips, which is still a lot of whips, but um, I truly thought I had more. So, um, yeah, I, apparently I had more finishes than I thought I had, or um, I don't know what happened, but in my head, I was thinking, well, I guess because I started 29 whips in April for my birthday month, and then there was mania, so I know I started quite a few whips there, and then, you know, whips throughout, or starts throughout the year, and sales that I had joined, really didn't do a whole lot on and stuff like that. So yeah, I just assumed that I had more, but so I sorted them out by, um, by bag size. And so we're going to do that going through them first. And so the first ones are going to be like the Amazon bags, these types of bags that, um, I first purchased on Amazon and I'm, I'll put the link down below because these are great bags. These are great starter bags and they're great to take on the road too because if they get dirty or anything, it's okay. Like you wipe it off because it's plastic. Yeah. So <laughs> let's get into the whips. Um, I will try to either tell you what the bag is that they're in and then um, the designer and the fabric count, if I have it, if I can remember it. And yeah, so let's get to it. All right, um, whip number one is a freebie chart and it's from La Dee Da and it's called Freebie Alphabet, Alphabet and Hair. And I'm doing this one with Silks For You. I believe the number is PR014, I believe. And this is where I've gotten to so far on it. I also want to say that I started this in 2020. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I did. And this is done on a 14 count mystery Ada, I believe, um, from a D stash page, I believe. Okay, whip number two is also, I believe, a freebie chart and it's called Witch's Kitchen. Yes, Witch's Kitchen from The Primitive Hair. And this one, I think goes this way. That's what I've gotten done on that one. And I don't know why I have not even gotten, you're probably going to hear this a lot. I don't know why, <laughs> but, um, this one is done on a, it looks like a 14 count Fiddler's Ada, Fiddler's Cloth or Oatmeal Ada, something like that. Um, 
and it's done in the called for colors, which are DMC and Gentle Arts. All right, whip number two. Whip number three. I like this one. This is from Teresa Kogut's Celebrate, sorry for the glare, Celebrate book. And unfortunately, I can't show you the pattern or a picture of the pattern because um, this book has 15 patterns in it, but it's just the patterns. There's no pictures other than these ones on the front of the book. And, but it is called Kitty's, what's it called? Kitty's Bad Kitty is what it's called. And that is what I've gotten done on that one. And this is done on a 14 count. It looks just like a, a ivory, probably. Um, Ada. And it's done in the DMC. No. No, it's done in the called colors. Called for colors, which is DMC and Weak Style Works. Okay, so that is number three. Okay, this one has a few in it, and these are ones that I started for my birthday month, and I did a All Hallows, All Hallows April, All Hallows April birthday sal. I don't think I did it as a sal. Anyways, started it in April for my birthday. And um, the, there's three patterns. They all came out of the 2019 uh, Halloween cross-stitch book magazine. I tell you, there were so many great patterns in here. Um, whoops. Uh, Trick or Treat Couple is one. And this is where I got to. And um, slightly funny story about this. I had always in my head for many years, my brother and I went Halloweening together and we were always a couple, right? And so I thought that we were Frankenstein and Frankenstein's bride. And as I was talking to my mom a few months ago, like around Halloween time, and she goes, do you remember when your brother and you were Dracula and Dracula's bride? And I'm like, no, we were Frankenstein and Frankenstein's bride. And she says, no, you were Dracula and Dracula's bride. And I'm like, oh, you're right. For several years, I've been in my head, Frankenstein and Frankenstein's bride, which is the reason why I did this chart because I thought, oh, that's so cute about, you know, my brother and I. It is Dracula and Dracula's bride still going to do this but I thought that it was hilarious so anyways that's what I've gotten done on this one and I want to say that this is a I think that this is a 16 count dyed by me uh, I have no idea what colors I used um, but dyed by me piece of fabric <laughs> I just thought that it was the funniest thing here I've been telling people oh yeah my brother and I, we were Frankenstein and Frankenstein's bride. <laughs> no, we were not. We were Dracula and Dracula's bride. And as soon as she said it, I was like, oh, <laughs> you're right. Because I do remember always having like, you know, the fake blood with the fangs and the whole deal. Yeah, funny. Okay, the second one out of here is called Bootiful Halloween. And it's by Karen Kluba. That one there and then that is what I've gotten done on that one and I want to say that I am doing this in the called for colors and this is again a 14 piece of I it looks like antique white maybe I don't remember but that is what is that, whip number five? And then the last one is, oh, I can't show you the pattern. Hopefully, oh, showing you the pattern. Um, 
this one here, which is called I can't read it. Midnight Seance. So that's that one there. And this is done by Nancy Greenberg of Pickle Barrel Designs. And this is where I've gotten to on that one. And this one will be on a 16 count Ada dyed by me. Again, I don't remember what colors, though I think that I use some gray, yellow, taupe. I don't remember, but there were a lot of colors that went into a mix and this is what came out. <laughs> so that is number six. Get all the colors back in the bag so we don't lose them because that would be tragic. Okay, whip number seven came from the 2018 Halloween Cross Stitch Collectors Special Magazine and it is called Sleep Tight by Linda Medini. And I am stitching this on a 14 count orange Ada. And I actually pulled this one out a, a little while ago, a couple of weeks ago, and did a very small amount of stitching on the border there. So that's what I've gotten done. Not a lot. But this is such an easy fabric to um, work with. 14 count. I mean, the holes are nice and big and so that's that's good. And then I am doing it with um, anchor black floss. Um, I like that. Oh, sorry. I like that a little better than I like um, DMC black. And so that's what I'm using there. Okay, that was number seven, right? Okay, whip number eight, this one. My daughter has a friend, she's like another daughter in my family. Um, she's lived down the street. They were friends from kindergarten on and, um, and she, you know, we consider her an aunt. My granddaughter considers her an aunt. She's just part of our family. And um, she loves Marilyn Monroe. She's got several tattoos of Marilyn on her body in places. And, uh, and she's got some photos of Marilyn in her house. And so when I saw this pattern, I thought that she would probably really like that. Now I bought this several years ago. This is a Design Works um, pattern and it's just called it's not even called anything. Nope, it's not even called anything. But um, it's just done in several shades of black and gray. And I think that this is the way it goes. And that is all I've gotten done. And seriously, it's been years. Um, I've I've had this at this that needle has been stuck in there for years and um I just don't know if I will ever get this done but every year around Christmas I'm like oh I should pull this out and start getting you know going on that and give it to her for Christmas I don't know what year Christmas she's gonna get it she might get it but it is it was a kit and um so using the called or the kit fabric and floss so was that number eight? See, I've lost count already. Um, if we're on the right track, this is number nine. Now, this is one of the first pieces that I started cross-stitching when I came back to cross-stitching in, was it 2017? 2017? 2018? I don't even remember when I came back. How bad is that? But this is one of the first pieces that I did. And it is also a design works piece called Welcome Friends. And um, I made a huge boo-boo in this. Um, 
and I'm going to say, honestly, I hate kit floss because of the way that it comes, you know, either you have to sort it yourself or they put it on cards, but they don't actually put the number on. I think it depends on the kit that you buy and, and you know, how it's packaged. But this one was packaged without, um, it was just like a bunch of floss in separate all kind of put together in two different bags and then it was up to you to sort the floss well there's a lot of green there's a lot of different colors of green tealish colors in in this pattern and i got myself confused and i used the wrong color in a very big portion of this piece like all this all that is the wrong color so i got uber frustrated so frustrated like do you see that on this size side this is the correct color this is not the correct color and so i have to rip all of that out <laughs> and so i got super frustrated but look i actually got a good portion of this done and this was i used to be a monogamous stitcher this was all I did for a really long time until I made that mistake. And then I bought a different kit and then I bought another kit and then I bought another kit. And as they say, it just went downhill from there, or maybe it's uphill depending on your perspective. But, um, that's where I've gotten to. And honestly, <laughs> I should just get this done. I really do like this pattern. It's very, there's a lot of like very delicate-y, uh, you know, um, elegant -y kind of uh, stitching in here. It's all back stitching, um, which is super easy. But yeah, I don't, I got really, really frustrated with it and I put it away and I have not taken it out for years. So when I did this whip parade, I was like, oh yeah. In the back of my mind, I've always, you know, remembered that it's there and had a little guilt, but I've passed over it so many times. Yeah, so then what I did was because I couldn't take the kit colors anymore, I went through and I found some DMCs and put them in baggies with the correct name and then what the symbol was and um, or the correct number and the symbol so that hopefully I don't make that mistake again. Okay, that was nine. Okay, if we're on 10, now I'm on to these bags. Now these bags I also bought off of Amazon and they reminded me of like Burberry bags. And um, they also are a PVC, they're plasticky inside and they have a nice zipper. They're an A4 size. Um, I think you got 10 bags, 10 bags I think, um, in this color and a blue. Yeah, and they just reminded me of Burberry, so I was like, mm, I'll take those. Um, this is from the Witchy Stitcher, and it's called Vintage Pumpkin Witch. Super cute. That's that pattern there. The Witchy Stitcher. She's got some awesome, if you love Halloween, she's got some great Halloween patterns. And that's what I've gotten done so far on this one. Not much, again. I believe that this is one that I started on my birthday month. And so um, during my birthday month, whatever I got done in that day. So each day I had a new start and I just worked on that piece for however long I had in that day to stitch. And so that's what I got done in a day. And this is, I also believe that this is a, this might be a 16 count. Um, Fiddler's Ada, Oatmeal, Fiddler's Ada, I, I don't remember. Yeah. So is that 10? Am I off already? <laughs> I probably am. Okay, I don't have the chart for this one. Um, this is, this was a freebie chart. See if anybody remembers this. Um, Hmm. I don't remember the designer 
or the name of the pattern that's really bad it's on my phone yeah like I have these things on my phone and so regardless that's what I've gotten done on it it's a really cute pattern and um, I am doing this in a sulky variegated thread and this is done on it looks like 16 count um, Ada I'm not sure it's probably an ivory I have a few patterns like this that um, the patterns are on my phone and so I don't I don't have um, the pattern with me uh, this was another freebie and this was actually from the attic and it's from my big toe designs and it's called friends family and no faith family friends and this is a this is a freebie chart but it's through their newsletter so and it was quite a while ago too like I did some stocking um, for freebie charts and that's what I'd found and that's what I've gotten done so far on that one now this is a I think that this is a 16 count Ada I don't remember which what um, color I don't remember I should have written it down Okay, so is that 11, 12? Yeah. Well, I'm not even going to bother counting. Maybe I'll, I'll put the stitch count up. The stitch count. The numbers as I'm doing them. <laughs> okay, 4 and 20 Blackbirds by Rosewood Manor. This is a chart. My grandma used to say this, sing this little poem um, when I was little. And... I, it just reminds me of my grandma every time I see this, um, this poem. And I am actually had done quite a bit on this one. And I haven't pulled it out for a really long time. So that's what I've gotten done. I think all the words are done. Yeah, all the words are done. So now I just need to get into the design and finish up the tree. So, and start getting more of my birds in there. And this one is on a 14 count. Is it 14 count? I think I did it in all this, the um, called for, it's 32. It's a 16 count, um, white, antique white. Um, Ada. Clearly, it is not Odin's sleepy time. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. This one is uh, cotton and twine, and this is December 19th pattern. And this was the, the um, subscription box that I was part of monthly from color Cotton and Twine, and they are based out of the UK. And it's lovely to receive those boxes because they um, they include absolutely everything. So this was how far I got on that one. And this is the kit floss and the kit fabric. And it's probably a 16 count. Actually, did it say? Sometimes it says... 16 count Zwargart Ada. It doesn't say what color though. So that's what I got to on that one. Hopefully one day I'll get back to this one because that's also a really pretty pattern and it would be, and because it came with everything, it would be, um, you know, easy to display because it came with all the finishing items. All right, this one was a freebie pattern from Stone Street Stitchworks, and it's called The Lace Maker's Cottage, and it's my black and white copy. I just printed it out in black and white, but um, she does some beautiful, 
beautiful charts. And that's what I've gotten to on this one. This is done on a 16 count Ada. It's probably, it looks like it's a ivory. And I am doing this one in Sulky, th Sulky Thread 1147. So it's kind of a, it's a beautiful red. And that's the one that I'm doing that one in. It's terrible. I've completely lost count. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. This also is a freebie pattern. I do not have the pattern for this one. Um, a paper, co paper copy for this one. Um, because this is off the DMC website. And uh, it's a Thanksgiving one that they had. And um, yeah, I don't remember what it was called, but it is on the DMC uh, website. They have a, a section for freebie patterns, or if you type in freebie cross stitch patterns or free cross stitch patterns, um, a bunch of them will come up. I want to say that this has turkeys in it. And so um, I think I searched for turkeys and that's, that's what came up. So I started that one also quite a while ago. Um, this is one that I finished one pattern um, in here, but there are two patterns in this, in this um, chart and from Little House Needleworks, Spot of Coffee. Um, in my last video, I think, um, is it 30? I showed my finish of the coffee one and uh, I'm starting the tea one. So I have done the border on this one. And funny enough, um, on the coffee one, I had done the border incorrectly um, because in my head, I, I assumed I knew what the pattern um, was throughout and I had it wrong. It still worked out, but this is the correct way <laughs> in the pattern. And so this is going to be the T one and I'm doing this one for my mom. So it's on the same type um, Ada that I did my coffee one on. Um, it's a mystery Ada. I don't know, but I believe that it's 14 count. And um, again, got this off of a DeSashmi site and I'm doing it in the called for colors. Okay. Oh, this one. Oh, I love this one. Um, I also showed some progress on this one in video uh, floss tube number 30. And this is the Ink Circles Reflections of Canada. And doing this one on a white 18 count white Ada and uh, Turkish red week's dye works and I actually did get quite a bit done on this one so that's where I'm at I'm starting the second portion of this so there's four parts basically and then a middle a middle and so the four parts um, copy in each quadrant and then there's um, the centers where the, what is that? The, um, is that the totem pole? Yeah, the totem pole is at. So super cute. So I finished one hockey stick on this side. I have the other hockey stick to do and it will just basically mirror this one right here. So um, getting there, I am getting there. And I love working on this piece. It is so easy, it is so relaxing, and I um, just love that piece. Hoping to have that one done for Canada Day this year. There's some hope. Okay, this is a sal that the Academic Stitcher started in 2020, and I joined her sal, sorry, glare. Um, this is Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Samplers, and for this is on my whip go for 2021 um, by Jessie Marie Does Stuff. She's the inventor of whip go, 
And um, so I did work on this one in January because it was one of the numbers that was called. And that's where I got to on this one. Yep. Um, I finished up the roof. I've got the chimneys in, and now one of the chimneys has the stars that comes out as smoke. And, um, and so I'm going to get started on those and finish up the house. That's my goal the next time it is called because um, my WIPCO goals are I was going to work 10 hours on the piece called in that month and there's two pieces that are called and I've already used my 10 hours um, stitching on this and it was a minimum of 10 hours. And um, I've already done my minimum 10 hours. I've actually done a little bit more than that too. Um, but now I'm working on some focus pieces that I would like to get done. Okay, this is a freebie chart and it's called Petite Sampler Rose by Apollo Get to Blue. Got a blue? Quick flash. And this one I thought I would attempt to do on some even weave. It's not going well. It is just not going well. <laughs> That's what I've gotten done so far. Um, I like the feel of this. I have a really hard time finding the holes. And um, yeah, I have just a really hard time finding the holes and a rhythm with um, even weave. And so I don't know how successful or how many pieces I will ever do on even weave. Um, at least not right now. I have good light. I, I just struggle. I'm, I'm just an Ada girl. I like working on Ada. It's easy for me. And, um, I'm going to 20 and 22 count Ada. And, um, because there's several patterns that I like that have over one stitching. And so, yeah. Okay, this is a Plum Street Sampler freebie called Brew Ha Ha. And I started this one, I also believe, on my birthday month, potentially. And that's what I've gotten done on that one. Not much. I'm trying to think, does it actually go that way or maybe it goes this way? I think it goes this way. <laughs> I think it does. I'm gonna have to be smart and try and um, put a thread or something, some kind of um, marker to let me know what the top is because even though I can probably figure it out once I go back to the pattern, some of these patterns I haven't seen. Like I have not pulled this back out since April. So it was what, nine months ago? Something like that. Oh, and that is done on a, looks like 14 count oatmeal, probably. I had a lot of it. I, I actually found it at Joann's and it, they were clearing out all of the 14 and 16 count oatmeal fiddler's cloth. And so I bought it all. It's kind of personal one. Okay, this one. Is this a freebie? I want to say it is, but I don't remember. Yes, it is. Free fall sampler. Um, and it was on her blog, maybe. I wrote down September 14th, 2010 is when she put this one out. So it's by Liberty House Primitives, and it's called Pumpkin Hollow Sampler. So it's a freebie chart and that is all I've gotten done on that one. Also, because it's a Halloween pattern, I probably started this in April on my birthday. So that's what I got done that day that I started it. And this again is done on a 14 count oatmeal, pretty certain. 14 count Ada was big. 
It's either 14 or 16. Okay, this one is darn close to a finish. And again, I did show this in my um, floss tube number 30. And I think I said after that video, I was just gonna go and finish this. Mm -mm, still not finished. <laughs> This is done on an 18 count vintage country mocha, Ada, and it is truly almost finished. But I did notice after my video, I had said that I just needed to finish the bird and then put in some, I'm going to put in beads instead of the stitches um, because they carry, uh, you know, there's only a few scattered all over the place. And then every couple of indents in the um, thing border there's also a white stitch now i'm no i'm gonna put beads i'm still gonna put beads but i noticed after my video i had said that's all i had to do i have not put the snow in yeah i have not put the snow in under here yet under the house yet so i also have to put in the snow there but this is almost a finish and like i said little house needleworks a little snow that's the pattern Getting close, getting close to a finish. So hopefully that will be a finish and one bag down. Soon to be covered up with, I mean, uh, kitted up. That's what I meant. This is a heart and hand wee witch. And this is one that I'm struggling with, you guys. I'm not loving. I'm, I'm not loving. And I have quite a bit done on her and I don't know why I don't like her I don't know I think maybe I just need to pull her out and stitch a little bit more on her and see if I can find the love but this is done on a tea coffee dye 16 count Ada um, coffee tea dyed by me um, from uh, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch tutorial so they have a tutorial on their website blog on how to coffee tea dye your fabric. Oh, we're getting near the end of these. Oh, and then these are the third bag that I bought from Amazon. And who did I see these from? Um, Gina and... Uh, my best friends. Hmm. My best friend, they're stitchers, they're awesome. And uh, I had watched one of their YouTube floss tubes and they had said that they bought these bags um, off of Amazon and that they liked them because there's two different, there's two different sections to these bags. There's this zipped part here that is mesh. And so you can put your floss or your, your pattern in and you can see what it is. And then in the top, you can put your floss and your, your um, fabric in if you wanted. Um, and so these are great bags. They're cloth. They're, yeah, they're a durable cloth. And um, so far they've held up. I mean, I wing these around all the time. So now this one is Tiny Modernist Canada Day. I don't have the pattern with me. And um, really it's going to be small. It's going to be like that size and like this square size. So why I have not cut that out either, I don't know. But um, it only has like three colors in it and uh, it's the Canadian maple leaf. And so it's very pretty and I also need to get this one out so I can finish it also for Canada Day and maybe have two Canada Day pieces or two Canadian pieces ready for Canada Day. That's, that's more like it. Okay, this one, again, I don't have a pattern for, oh my goodness, um, but it is a Blackbird freebie. It's on my phone again. Um, what's this called? Blackbird. Is it just called Blackbird? I believe it is. And um, so I am stitching this on Oh, I, I severely coffee 
dyed this piece of fabric and baked it. Um, this was uh, Monaco, I believe. And um, I am, I mean, it's taken me forever to do this. It's a little easier to use than even weave for me, but I don't love the texture of this. And so, which is unfortunate. I am doing this with a Threadworks floss in the number 1024. And it's a very deep navy black almost. So it, it looks lovely in this in this fabric and um, yeah. What is this? Oh no, it's a 22 count Ada. Yeah, it's a 22 count Ada. So, and I think it really shrunk when I coffee dyed and baked it. I think the holes really shrunk. So I would say this is more like a 28. Um, yeah, the holes be real small. I mean, they're small in a 22 anyways, but then, yeah. If you're keeping count, good for you, because I have 100% lost count <laughs> and have no hope. Okay, and another one. I have no pattern to show you, but this is a freebie on Melissa Pinker and Pumpkin blog. Um, you can follow her on Instagram. She's Pinker and Pumpkin uh, on Instagram. And then she's got Pinker and Pumpkin blogs. Um, just Google Pinker and Pumpkin. And um, I will see if I can't link that below. But she, um, she's got some beautiful free patterns that she's put out for us to enjoy. And this was her fall one and it's a house and it will eventually have a little turkey up here. And um, I'm doing it in the DMC called for colors. And this is on a piece of coffee tea dyed fabric, 16 count coffee tea dyed by me. And um, I love this piece. It is, she's also got another house that she put out for the winter. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, this whip is in this beautiful bag. This was the very first bag I ever won. Um, and I got this from Stitching with the Sisterlies, Colleen and, oh my gosh, how can I be blanking? Colleen and her sister. Um, let's move on. This houses my little house needleworks Melissa Turner sampler. And I love this sampler. I love the colors. I love the simplicity of it. It's just so pretty. And so I am doing this on... I showed this one in my number 30 floss tube as well. I'm going to see if I can find what I'm doing this on. I'm doing this on 16 count lamb's wool, Ada. And so that's where that one's gotten to. And I'm doing it in the called for classic color works colors. Uh, nope, there's some DMCs as well. There's a reason that I'm doing that, I'm sure. Um, this is in a Garon Toten bag. I have a lot of Garon Toten bags. And I think that this is the only one that I have a whip in. Oh no, maybe there's another one. I think I have another one. <laughs> so this is uh, Blackbird Designs. Started this one also in April on my birthday. And this is Midnight Watch. And Blackbird Designs, and you guys know the rule, buy all the Blackbirds. And this is where I've gotten to on this one. And this is done on a piece of 
18 count um, coffee tea dye baked um, fabric that I that is done by me. I baked this sucker of quite quite a little longer than it probably should have. So you see a lot of um, variegation going on in here. And uh, so I'm hoping that either the pattern looks real good. It should look very vintagey aged. That's kind of what I was going for because I thought that that would look good with that pattern. So, and I'm doing this in the DMC. I'm doing this one in DMCs, not the called for gentle arts or weeks dye works. Um, I chose to do it in DMCs. Okay, this is housed in a Lisa uh, Smith Kindred Stitcher bag. She occasionally puts bags up on her D-Stash page, and I was lucky enough to get this one. Um, there's the puppies on this one, lots of different types of puppies with their shamrocks, and it just made so much sense to me because Irish and, um, and dogs. And this houses Pet All the Dogs by Teresa Kogut. This pattern here, I am so sorry for the glare. Is that better? Pet All the Dogs. I am doing this on a, let's see here. I'm doing this on um, a color and cotton 16 count Ada called Camelot. And it is so pretty. And this is actually on my, here, let's see here. This one is on my whip go chart. And so I'm excited when it gets called. I have, I on my whip go chart, I have six samplers and six cells. And I've put them on there twice. That's why they're six and six um, in 25 squares plus your free square. So um, this will get called twice, and which means that I will get a minimum of 20 hours of stitching in on this piece and um, in the year. And so I'm pretty excited when it will get, come out so I can work on this. And this is um, kind of a, a memorial piece to um, our puppy Jedi who passed away in last year in April, May timeframe. And, uh, and so, yes, I, we love dogs in our family and we have a number of them and we've had a number of them and we currently have dogs, three of them. And, um, so I just thought that, you know, pet all the dogs and then to do it as kind of a little memorial to Jedi, um, and plus it's an awesome pattern. All right, this, these next two bags I bought off of a stash on load site, I believe. So I don't know who did them, but um, super cute bags, quilted and um, Halloween. I couldn't, I just couldn't. And then uh, it's, it's uh, got the vinyl in the front and then a nice big zipper just and really well made this one houses another witchy stitcher pattern called what is this one called i am halloween and this one says celebrate halloween baby i celebrate halloween baby i am halloween i love that and this is being done on a 14 count Ada. That's what I've gotten to on that one. And it is being done in the called for, except for the black, I'm doing it with the anchor black. Some things I do in a DMC black because I have a lot of DMC black. I even have a cone of DMC black, but I'm not a fan of the coverage. Um, so, sorry for the noise. Most of these I did unzip. 
Okay, this one is, again, it's actually from the same, is it from the same girl that I bought the previous bag from and another Halloween, but this one is Star Wars. Yeah, in their little Halloween costumes. So cute. <laughs> Okay, that one houses Madame, Madame Chantilly's Halloween, Celebrate Halloween. This one here, I love this pattern. I need to get back onto this one because I really like this one. This is done on, I don't remember. It's a Zweigart Ada. And that's what I've gotten done. I started in the bottom of this one to get the words in because I think quite a few of the flosses that I needed for this one were being in different kits. And so all I had was the 3371. So I started with the words in the bottom. This is actually a lot bigger than you think it's going to be. So, and I want to say that this is a 16 count lamb's wool maybe vintage ivory i don't know now these bags the next two bags they are christine stitch oh my gosh i'm showing you the pattern sorry um stitch all the things um she also has a d stash page and she um puts bags up so very randomly like you need to like be on your top game if you would like one of her bags and uh, I was lucky enough to be on my top game a few times and get a couple of her bags and these two house different patterns this one is heaven and earth designs and it's Anne Boleyn and by John Hoskins and I am doing this on a 25 count easy grid is that what that's called easy grid it's gonna be monstrously big that's the back all right boy this is gonna be so big and I have not pulled this back out and started doing anything on it I am doing this two over one am I doing it two over one I feel like I am just hang on can I tell? Yes, that's two. That is two. So two over one on this 25 easy grid fabric. And um, as you can tell, that's actually a lot of stitches <laughs> in a haid. Plus it's real small, you guys. 25 counts real small. Um. I love the coverage like this one I am doing in the DMC um, 310 there are four different colors in here so far there that's four different or maybe even five different colors and they all blend in so beautifully but you I mean I would just look at that and go oh okay that's a lot of black it's not black, there's blue, there's gray, there's all kinds of colors in there already. So yeah, I wanna say that there's five colors so far. Um, I really wanna pull this piece back out and maybe, just maybe, maybe I'll make this the focus piece for the year. And by focus piece, you know, putting either a strand of floss in, that's kind of what I think of as a, as a focus piece like in order to get it you know quite a bit done a year or in a, a certain time frame I'm so sorry for the wrestling this bag is a little small and you know the only thing about this is the vinyl on this bag the printing came off on the vinyl so I have to be real careful that my fabric doesn't go on it. I haven't figured out quite how to get that off yet. So I just have to be very careful. But yeah, to make it a focus piece um, for the year and either do 30 minutes a day on it 
or you know like a couple hours on a weekend that that's the only focus that I'm doing or um, a strand of floss a day something like that so I yeah but I love this Anne piece and I really want to get some progress done on her Oi. Okay, this one, let's see if I've got the bag that the, uh-oh, I don't. Hmm, okay, then I can't tell you what fabric I'm doing this on. Huh, I'll have to think about it. Um, this is Ella, the frog princess. And my granddaughter's name is Ella. And so when I saw this after she was born, I had to pick it up and get it. And um, she's very excited when she sees this piece. In fact, she's asked me, she had just asked me the other day where in the heck this was and why wasn't it done? Because, you know, somehow, miraculously, you get one of these pretty ladies done in <laughs> an hour. Yeah. But this is what I, I want to say that this is a fabrics by LJ, fabrics by LJ fabric, possibly. I don't remember what color though, but that's what I've gotten done on her. I um, started in on her hair and her face a little bit, and now I'm working my way down to her dress, her shoulders, and then into her dress. So, and she has a lot of beads. But I think that this is a 16 count, I want to say it's a Fabrics by LJ um, fabric, which his fabrics were beautiful. Okay, this one is, this started my bag obsession. And this is by a lady called Jan of Jan's Stitchin Necessities. And I think she's on, I think she's on, Facebook and that you message her from Facebook, but that's her name. And um, I had seen a number of years ago, a floss tuber who was buying her bags and uh, they were just beautiful. And so, um, you know, and she had recommended this lady. And so I had uh, Facebook, I'm pretty sure Facebook, uh, Jan, and said, hey, you know, I'm interested in buying some of your bags. The thing is you send your fabric to her, you tell her what size you want, and then she will make up the bag and then she will add things to it. So this one, she put some lace on and I'm a huge Seahawks fan, huge. And um, so she, and she does the, you just send her the main fabric and then she will put the, um, what is it called? The accent fabric. She will do that. And, um, and then you pay her, you know, the, for the bag size and everything. And, um, beautiful, beautiful stitching, beautiful. Like I was so impressed and I have a number of her bags. So, but anyways, that's what this one is in. This is, well, let's see if I get this right. It's a Year of Black Work by Purple. Oh, you guys. I did not write it down. Um, purple something. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll link that one down below too because I messed it up. Um, that's where I've gotten to. It's 52 blocks for the 52 weeks of the year. And I am on, what block am I on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, I'm on block 12 and haven't quite finished it. Went to 13, finished that one, and then started on 13, block 18. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm doing this in two different DMC colors. Uh, what are my colors, what are my colors? Um, 
3808 and 3810. I love this sampler. Mm. Sorry, black work. And um, I don't know why I haven't finished it, but I have downloaded each week. And so I do have the pattern, thankfully. And um, hopefully I'll get a finish on this one sometime this year, maybe. So, and this is done on a, this is on an oatmeal, 16 count Ada, I believe, 16 or 14. I have a plan to get more organized this year. So <laughs> next year's whip parade won't be like this. It'll be like, this is what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> Okay, another Garon Toten bag. This is their big bag. And this is my bag of the month. This is where I get that size one. And this is a monster project. This is Long Dog Sampler Sal, um, Life After Death. This thing's huge. It's huge. And I am doing this one in DMC 09. So um, when DMC came out with the new line of colors, I um, actually went to Acorns and Threads. Yeah, Acorns and Threads. And Janine helped me pull together this color for this pattern. And um, then Two Martini Stitcher did a long dog, long dog leap day sal. Don't say that too fast. And so I joined that one. And um, on the 29th of every month, you could, you know, work on this sampler and you had four years to get it done because the next leap day in four years from now, or in 2020, uh, now three years from now, um, you potentially could have this finished that's how much I've gotten done. I don't think that I'm going to get it finished in three years going on the pace that I'm going. <laughs> but isn't that a pretty color? Yeah, I think so. Um, this is going to be a huge, huge, I mean, look at my piece of fabric. It's like, it's a blanket. It's a blanket. It's a mini crib blanket. Yeah, that's okay. And it goes this way. <laughs> But seriously, it just keeps going and going and going and going. It's huge. So, um, need to find some time and pull this one out too and start making it a bit of a priority. Here is another um, Jan's Stitch and Necessities bag. And this one, I just did all of the football teams. Um, and then she added the banner is that not cute yeah it's cute and this is actually fabric from another bag of hers that i have that um, has a kitted up project in it not a whip and so this is the linen and threads 2020 sal and i think it's called is it called family and friends something like that that's what i've gotten done so far I haven't even finished a month. Nope. Still working on January 2020. And there's a brand new cell for this year, which is lovely, but I'm not going to do it because I have 17, 18, 19, and 20 all. Where is 17 to 19? I have those all started. Or maybe I have them kitted up. I don't remember. Anyways, um, linens and threads, beautiful sows every year. So that one, and this is done on a, I think this is a 16 count, just a ivory. And I am doing it in a Threadworks floss but I don't remember the color number and it's not in here. The rest of the floss is not in here. It must be 
over in the corner there, in the naughty corner, where all the naughty floss is. Floss I just haven't put away yet. So it must be over there. I don't remember the number of that floss, but it's really pretty. It's a very um, autumn-y. Okay, next stack. Oh my goodness. All right, these are all in So Much to Love bags. And I was part of her fabric bag, uh, bag of the month club. And so this is one of her bags. I have several of them. And this is The Light Upon the Lawn by Blackbird Designs. That pattern there. And I am doing this pattern for my grandma. She absolutely loved the color blue. She loved birds and um, the house and gardens and just all things pretty. So I am doing this. Hmm. No, I, oh yes, I do know what the fabric is. It's 16 count French golden needle. Ada. And that, what did you see? That is what I've gotten done. And I actually pulled this piece out the other night and put in some more uh, stitches. So um, I'm making this one actually my piece for the rest of January. Um, now that I am done my Orny Sal, monthly Orny Sal, hashtag monthly Orny Sal on. Um, Instagram that anybody can join. I've finished that for the month of January. I could probably work ahead and do another one for February and be ahead of the game, but why do that? Because, you know, I'm a procrastinator. And um, and I finished my two Whipgo pieces. I've done the 10 hours, my minimum 10 hours, and um, I'll wait for them to be called again. So I pulled this one out to do because... I just felt that, you know, I needed a little closeness with my grammar. Okay, here is another So Much to Love bag. This one's going to house Halloween. A Halloween pattern, yes it is. Jarden Purvey's Patchwork Halloween. That one there. And I am doing this on a 16 count coffee tea dyed by and baked by me. And that is what I've gotten done so far. Called for colors. This is pretty. I need to get back to this one too. I don't know why I haven't pulled this one out for a while. But it doesn't have that many colors. It has uh, six colors to it. That's it. So I should pull that one aside and do something on that one too. Okay, another so much to love, so much to love fabric bag. Oh, this was my, was this the one that I made a boo-boo in? Yeah, I think so. All joys for thine. Was this the one I made a boo-boo in? Yeah, I think it was. This was the border that I was almost, yes, this is it. This is the border that I was almost done. I was carrying it around almost up here and then realized that I was off and I couldn't fudge it. There was no way to fudge it. And so I had to pull it all out and it was a floss that's hard to find. And so, and it was gifted to me because it was that hard to find. And um, so I'm praying that I have enough floss to finish this piece. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Cause I couldn't save the floss. I, I yeah, I couldn't save it. Um, I saved as much as I could, but I couldn't save it all. So, um, but that's where I am on this one. And I have not pulled this one out for a while either, mainly because I got angry that the piece did not tell me until I was almost finished with the border that it had a boo-boo in it. And quite frankly, it should have mentioned it quite a while before that. So it could have fixed it earlier, darn piece. But um, this is a really lovely piece. All joys for thine, Blackbird Designs. And I am doing this one on a Fabrics by LJ 16 count golden sand and again like I said his fabrics are lovely 
and I'm so grateful that I have so many of them. So many. Another So Much To Love bag. Oh, this one has a couple of freebies in it. Um, this one is a complimentary chart by Brianna Stewart, and it's called July 4th. In there, click. And I am doing this on Is that this pink? Hmm. It is this piece. Which way am I doing it? I think it's this way. I think. Um, I am doing this on a 28 count even weave that I coffee tea dyed. Oi, the, the holes on this one are small. They are small. And I... Yeah, I, I don't love the texture of the even weave at all. I'm not I'm not a fan. I again I am an Ada girl, but I tried to get outside my box and and see if I could, you know, do these and we'll see. Anyways, that's what I got to on that one. And then over here is another and you can barely you don't even see it, do you? No. Do you see that? <laughs> That's another freebie chart over here, and it is called 1776, I think. And again, that pattern's on my phone, so not real helpful. But two more charts. And I'm doing this one in the called for colors as well. Um, they're really pretty. Okay, another So Much to Love bag, and this one has my sampler that was in my Witgo for um, January, the called for number. I think it was number 18. And this is Carter House Sampler 1817 by the Cross Stitch Antiques. Yeah, but I showed this one in floss tube number 30 as well. I haven't done any more since then um, because I've done my 10 hours my minimum, actually a little more. And like I said, I fudged. I'm fudging, I messed up. And I'm hoping that my fudge is gonna be good when I pull this out for the second time it's called. This is done on Color and Cotton 18, sorry, 16 count Ada called Love Letter. And it's got a little bit of um, a pinky undertone to it. And um, it just, it looked perfect for the picture um, of the sampler. And so I thought they work well together. And it's done with the called for flosses as well. Okay, another so much to love bag. I have so many more. This one's gonna hold my mermaid. Yep, um, a Mirabilia Enchanted Mermaid. I have had her for so long, long time. When was this one done? I don't know what, what year this one was done. Let's see, 2005. And I probably picked it up not long after that. Probably. I've had her for a long time. I've had her um, fabric. Denise cut me this fabric so very long ago. And um, so it calls for twilight blue linen, 32 count twilight blue linen. So we found something that was very comparable to that in a 16 count so that the beads would fit. That's what I've gotten done on her so far. A little bit of her Let's see if I can get the pattern up. A little bit in her hair. And starting. No, it's all her hair. It's all her hair. That's all I've gotten done so far. So, and I was pulling this out for Mirabilia Mondays. 
didn't get very far for Mirabili Mondays last year. So um, I just, I'm not good. I have great plans, but I am not good about the follow through, the keep up of said follow through. <laughs> and then this is the last um, So Much to Love bag that I have a, a, a whip in. And this also is a freebie chart. And this is one of those stay home, you know, charts. And this is by Samplers Forever, Claudia Cicery. Cicery? Let's Stay Home. Free pattern. You can find them online. And that is what I've gotten done on that one. And this is a 14 count, just white, antique white Ada. Not very far on that one either. I don't know why, because I actually really love this pattern. Okay, we're heading, we're heading into some, there's probably 10 more. Um, dot dot goose design. I love dot dot goose design bags. Denise from Wisconsin. Congratulations to your Green Bay Packers, Miss Denise. Um, beautiful ba bags, all vinyl front. Um, and her zipper pull pulls all are like this. Um, every single one of them. And um, they're just lovely, lovely bags. Okay, this is a Mirabilia, and this is Alice. Her picture came out. Second here. Okay. Alice, Mirabilia. And when I saw this pattern, I was like, I just, something about her just spoke to me. I just really, really liked her. And um, I think I bought this from Acorns and Threads. Think so and um what i did not realize was that border is all french knots i do pretty good in french knots but that's a lot of french knots a lot mm-hmm Boy, you know, when you barely stitched, you know, or you're a slow stitcher to begin with. <laughs> Boy, yeah. Okay, this is done on, oh, what color fabric is this? It's pretty, isn't it? It's beautiful purple. Um, and when I saw this, I just knew it was meant to be, but... I have no idea what the fabric is. That's horrible. Is this a bee stitch me fabric? Hmm. I don't remember. I don't remember. But it's a beautiful purple. And um, this is all I've gotten done so far on the pattern. A portion of the corner. A very small portion of the corner. I need to get this one back out too. Shame on me. And the sad thing is, is that I was contemplating starting a few more Mirabilias because I bought some Mirabilias in 2020 and I was gifted a few Mirabilias in 2020 and they're all so lovely. And I've been a Mirabilia fan for, I mean, that was the first patterns that I bought at Threadneedle Street um, when I started going to Denise. And as soon as I saw those, She's got them in baskets, kind of when you walk in the door, and that's what you see is the Mirabilia's pretty quickly. And when I saw those and then the lavender and lace patterns up above, I was like, I must buy all, all of these, all of these. And I've been working on it. Okay, this bag here from Dot Dot Goose, this is the Wicked Witch bag love this bag and then look at this back fabric with the skulls yes please yes please this is a 
stocking from Tis Halloween. And I am working on the candy corn stocking, but I am doing mine in black because I think that the candy corn shows up on the black so beautifully. And again, why I don't have this one out, I don't know. Maybe I'll do this one for a, a orny sal and get this one finished. Because it could be an ornament, right? This little stocking, it's little. Yeah, I might do that because it would go on my tree anyway. So it's an ornament. Orny Sal, there I go. February, pulling this one out for February. It's done. <laughs> this is done on a 14 count black Ada in the called for colors. Blackbird designs. Okay, another Blackbird design. This one is also a Halloween. Uh oh, 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 just a second. Technical difficulties. There we go. This is also a Halloween bag with the ghosties in there. And then the swirl fabric on the back. And this is a pattern from the Witchy Stitcher, and it's called Ouija. Halloween. That one's super cute too. And I mean, really, this one has three colors in it, I think. If that. For sure, two. Possibly, I think that that's a third color, yes. And that's all I've gotten done on this one. This is on a 14 count Ada black Ada as well and it is as stiff as a board it is like it's as stiff as a board very cardboardy feeling um yes I could have washed it before I started stitching on it and it is DMC so it should not run right but I don't know if the black will run and I've already put my cream in there or a crew is it a crew it is a crew and um so I'm not tempting fate. And it does soften up in your hand after a while when you manipulate. Um, stiff Ada. I don't know. I need to get back to that one too because I do like that pattern as well. And another Halloween bag from Miss Dot Dot Goose Design. I love her Halloween patterns. Um, pumpkins. Mm -hmm. So pretty. And then just a black checked back. This one is, is this Witch Witch? It is Witch Witch from La Dee Da. You guys know my love affair with this pattern and her dress skirt, skirt dress. No, what are we calling it? Table, table dress, table dress. Somebody said that they thought that those were her hips. Why is there a cat and a mouse on her hips? I'm a little confused. Yeah, like why would there be a cat? There's no mouse. The mouse are underneath her feet. But um, there's a tape, there's a tree growing out of the table dress or hips. I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> Regardless, I love this pattern. So, um, uh, I have not pulled this one out for a little while. I did put this one away um, to concentrate on some other patterns and or some other charts. And so it's still in the same place. This is done on a 16 count coffee tea dye baked Ada by me piece. And I just showed you the back. Let's show you the front. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, hi. Yeah, there's the front. Much better. I mean, my back doesn't look so bad, but um, this is the true front. Looks much prettier. So this is a lovely, lovely pattern. And um, I should make it a goal to get this one done for 2021. I really should. I'm going to make that a goal. And this is uh, stitched with 
thread works thread one one two one one two one two I believe it is and it's a very dark inky black charcoal gray like the there's variegation in here um but it's so beautifully gradual it's lovely and it looks lovely on the fabric okay last dot dot goose design bag that i have a whip in because i have many more dot dot goose design bags and this was a freebie from the tiny modernist and it's called witch's brew I am doing this one on an 18 count, yes, 18 count white Ada, and really that's all I've gotten done so far. This also was a start for my birthday, my birthday month, and that's what I got done in a day. So, and doing it in the called for colors and oh this is the bag it's mickey and mini halloween which is super cute and then the back is i don't know if you can see this but it's um sparkly cobwebs and there's a sparkle to this and the sparkles don't come off like they don't come off <laughs> that's amazing to me because i have a love hate relationship with glitter i actually hate glitter more than I love it and um, I was always that parent at kindergarten or preschool that was the <laughs> that's my daughter we share Alexa well we share a, a, a Amazon account and so we share a dot account <laughs> and so Alexa off, sorry. And so every time, and she bought one of those ring um, uh, things for her house. And so every time I hear motion detected at your front door or when she calls my granddaughter for anything, you know, they have um, dots throughout the house and it comes through mine. So it's just a little funny. <laughs> okay, this was a gifted bag to me by a very sweet lady called Sherry Price. And um, she is Priceless Stitching. She just changed her name. Priceless Stitching or Priceless Stitches on Floss Tube. And um, she had made this bag for me and sent it. I didn't know it was coming. It was just such a lovely, lovely gift. And um, she knew that I loved Halloween. And so she gifted me this Halloween bag. And I love this bag, I cherish it. And I put my most prized Halloween patterns in it. So. I have three patterns in this one. I have, they're all Prairie Schooler. So I have, um, what is this one called? Knock Knock. I have Night Flight. And I have Miss Fortune. So I'm, I started all three of these, one a day um, in April, last April my birthday sale and uh, let's see where am I so this one is Miss Fortune and that's what I've gotten done on that one that one okay here let's put it that way that's Miss Fortune this one here is knock knock that's what I've gotten done on that one and then this one is night flight and that is what I've gotten done on that one this one I've pulled out a, a few times to actually do so this is not done in a day because I am not that fast at stitching but this border is so rep repetitive and easy to do that um yeah so so nice 
So that is what is in that one. And then of course I have a couple of littles um, patterns. And I feel like I've done this one or maybe I've done one very, very similar to that. But this is uh, the companion to Miss Fortune, trick or treat. Oh, I think she's a companion for Miss Fortune. So um, I will do these as mini ornaments probably for the mini or for the monthly orny sound. Okay, we must be heading into at least 50. This has got to be at least 50. Okay, this is a bag I bought off of Stash Unload. Yeah. And I think is this a Harry Potter bag? I believe so. Or is it Game of Thrones? <laughs> it's Game of Thrones. You'd think that it was real late or something. It's not. Goodness sakes. Okay, uh, this houses my Mirabilia Archangel. I love this pattern. Love this pattern. And he is done. There it is. He is done on an 18 count Ada by uh, LJ Fabrics. Fabrics by LJ. And I'm not sure why I went with 18 count because I feel like now the beads are going to be a little difficult to put on here. But it's okay. I'm going to work it out. Odin. Odin. Thank you. Um. And I did show this one in Floss Tube 30 because I made some progress on this one um, during November, December, and a little part in January. And uh, so I finished up his wing, I started some of the skin, and I'm starting his robes. But this is a beautiful piece of fabric, and I just thought that it was just so appropriate for the Archangel. And... Um, Still working out his name, but as soon as his face comes in, I think, I think I know what it's going to be. I love this piece. And I have all the floss, called for floss, it's fancy. And then I have the beads, the chronic, the devil's floss, those kinds of things. Whoops. Oh, my Game of Thrones bag is getting some revenge for not remembering that it was a Game of Thrones bag. Okay, this is another uh, Kindred Stitcher bag. Um, she, like I said, has a D-Stash page. And when she posted a bunch of bags, I went on right away and got a few. And um, I think that this is a signature uh, pull of hers that she does. Oh, sorry. She does this... Um, to me, this is a kilt pin. That's what what a kilt pin, um, you know, back when I wore a kilt. And um, bigger, but this is a mini, to me, this is a mini kilt pin. So um, I'm not sure what it's called uh, other than that. But, um, and then she put some buttons on it. So that's her zipper pull. So this is the beautiful bag that she made. And this one houses... A freebie chart? No. This one, oh, I can't show you this one. It's my working copy, but it is um, Haunted Bird House by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And this is in one of the Halloween uh, Just Cross Stitch collectors books. And I don't remember if it was in 17, 18, 19. I don't remember. I have it, but I don't remember which one it's in because I made a working copy and the books are upstairs, the magazines are upstairs. So that is how much I've gotten done on this one. Uh, this is done on a, I wanna say that this is a 16 count, just uh, ivory Ada, I believe. Now this also would be a good orny cell. I gotta pull these out. I'm gonna pull that out. Get 
finish on that one too for the orny sow. My goodness. See, this is what happens when you pull out your whips and you're like, oh yeah, I, I remember that. Oh, another Kindred Stitcher um, bag, another Halloween-y type bag. I mean, look at these pumpkins. Yep, as soon as I saw that, I was like, no, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. I think I say that a lot, which is why maybe I have a lot of bags. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> Blackbird Designs, Sisters, out of the Sisters uh, book. And I am doing at at first Cox Crow. That one there. It's beautiful. I am doing this one also on a 16 count. Yep, 16 count coffee tea dyed baked by me. Um, you know, I just really what I did was I threw in like I think a yard of um, 16 count Ada that I have on a bolt and it's uh, in an ivory and all I did was I basically shoved a yard of fabric into a pot of boiling coffee and tea and um, and then scrunched it all up and put it on a cookie sheet with some parchment paper in the oven and baked it and this is really what happened and I've been using it for several Halloween pieces. Some have more modeling to them than others like this is the back of the fabric and it got a ton of modeling. I chose to go with the um, softer portion of the modeling for this pattern particularly and um, all I've done is part of the border. I should pull this one out too. How many times did I say that? And I'm doing that one in the called for colors, which are gentle arts and gentle arts. So that is that one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the last one. Last whip. It was a big whip parade. Kind of long, huh? Sorry. This was a book that was gifted to me by a really, really sweet viewer. And it's uh, with Needle and Thread by Blackbird Designs. And I am doing Let Heaven and Nature Sing. That one there. And I had a bit of a stoppage on this one because there is a floss color in here that I've never heard of. OWS, which is, what is she calling it? OWS. Old Willow Stitchery, which I guess is no longer in business and you can't find the threads. And, um, and only one there's only one color and it's called Baby's, yeah, nope, Weeping Willow. And um, a kind viewer sent me kind of like a conversion of um, that to Weeks to Gentle Arts and DMC. And so I have been trying to find the, the green that I feel goes with the picture and with my floss colors and I am still looking because I don't think I have it right yet. Anyway, um, so I've had a bit of a, oops, almost lost a needle, a bit of a stoppage on this one. Let heaven and nature sing. Oh, it goes this way. That's an endy. So I've gotten the good portion of the border done. There's still more to the border, I think, that needs to be done. And then I started with some of the words. Um, but there's quite a, was there quite a bit? I haven't had this out for so long, I don't remember. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit of that Weeping Willow, Old Willow Stitchery color. Um, it's in a lot of the leaves of the flowers in the border. And I think also there's some, there's a vase that goes down in the bottom here. And then um, 
one of the things that pops out of it with its leaves is also so there's actually quite a bit and so I need to make sure that my color is going to be okay and I still haven't got there so and this is done on uh, even weave um, 32 count 28 count 28 count even weave I believe and um, in I think I tea dyed this one I think I tea dyed this one because it didn't look aged enough and um, so yeah um, I 100% struggle on this one this took me forever to get to where it was and that border is super repetitive and um, I struggle like I said I don't think that linen or even weave will be my my fabric of choice ever um, I think that if there's a uh, Ada that I can find instead it that will always be it so that is all that is my rips for the year now I have quite a few starts planned and I have a lot of kitted projects I don't know if I'll do a kitted parade would you guys be interested in a kitted parade I mean I know my videos go long so maybe not <laughs> um and then, you know, with my stitch alongs, my stitch with me's um, on every other Sunday, that's when I do a new start as well. So I potentially have two, maybe even three starts some months um, already. So uh, yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of starts in a year too, on top of um, whatever I feel like starting as well because I can't go with plans I am I found that I am not a good plan girl I do want to do the whip go though like I think that if I can you know really concentrate and and do those 10 hours on a project two projects each month and put in 20 hours for both those projects 10 hours each I think that that's a good plan because then I'll see some great progress and not, you know, oh, I'll flit here and I'll flit there and no, oh, I do a new start. So I, I'm hoping that the whip go will be my thing, but no new starts was never going to happen. I can't be doing that. And then stitch from stash. I also can't do that. And, um, I just am not disciplined enough. Plus I get in these things that I'm like, oh, I really want to stitch, you know, this or whatever. So, or somebody's doing a sal and I'm like, oh, I'll join that sal. <laughs> I don't do much on it. Oh, where's my Frankenstein? I'm missing some pieces, you guys, because I have Frankenstein, who is the um, stitching book club. I started that one. I have that one somewhere. I must be missing some more whips. Mm-hmm. These are the ones I found. <laughs> they were all congregated in one place, but now I'm distressed because I have, hmm, I'll have to find him because he's on my whip go chart. Um, and I'm hoping to get that one as a finish, which means I can do a new start. Again, plans. I'll do it now. Okay. That's it for the whip parade. I hope you enjoyed and maybe you got um, enabled a little bit for some other things. Mr. Odin would like to say, you know, hey, I'm here. And uh, yeah, so I will see you in my next video. Take care.